This was a strange day. I went to feed my cows one morning, but I left my boots outside. When I went to put them on, I found a little surprise waiting inside. It was Kamala, seeking shelter for the winter. Now it was too cold to release her as snow had begun falling already. And the Grand Canyon tank was way too big. Plus my king snake lives here and he would definitely eat her. So I wanted to make something homemade and cheap. On day one, we went dumpster diving for some free glass we found. I cleaned all the silicone off and got it ready to be cut into pieces. Once it's scored, I give it a tap and then it just snaps, uh, snaps off. Well, this glass is thicker than I thought, so it's gonna need some more tapping and maybe even a little bit of chiseling. This should definitely work. It's still not working. So I went on the Google to look for answers, and there it was, tempered glass. And if you try cutting it, this could cause serious damage. So I grabbed some eye protection and I destroyed it. I'm glad it didn't shatter like this when I was trying to break it. So plan B, I went to PetSmart and I got this for $75. And it has a front opening door with a lock. Few rocks and sticks, my vision is coming alive. I begin to fill it with play sand, and you're probably wondering why I didn't add drainage layer. That's because it's a desert and it will never see water. I then sprayed the whole thing down with water to lock it in place. Now let's add some desert plants. The next day, I had my son go outside and catch a bunch of random bugs. We got isopods, big beetles, little beetles, and a half smashed cricket. Whatever this evil creature is, and a bunch of grubs. I'm naming this guy Beetlejuice. He has a big role to play here shortly, as he will be best friends with this guy, the scorpion. And what's better than a scorpion? Well, two scorpions. And they instantly got along. Then Beetlejuice climbed on his back to make sure he looked good for the lady. And then he just left her there. <laughs> I'm not going down there. For an entire day, she chased him down until he was cornered under a rock. Is she going to try to eat him? The suspense was killing me. Then Beetlejuice came in here to stir some things up. She gives him a tap. Back off. But that fall took a number on Beetlejuice. And he may now have brain damage. Then this isopod offered himself up as a sacrifice for dinner. While this cricket snuck behind them and started drinking nectar from the scorpion stinger. Yeah, crickets are so dumb. Today, I decided to make it rain. And I know, I didn't put a drainage layer. But it's so hot during the day, it will all evaporate anyways. That night, I found the scorpions hunting under the ultraviolet light, AKA the makeshift moon. The breeding sequence with scorpions is crazy and bizarre. The male sticks his fertilizer into the ground and then grabs the female and drags her over it. And a few months later, she will deliver a ton of babies and they'll pile up on her back until they grow older. But I haven't seen my scorpions do this, which leads me to believe they are both males. Just in case, I'm gonna slap this on here. On day 10, I added Kamala and she loves this place. That rattle means she's happy. I'm pretty sure. She then took refuge under this rock with the scorpions. This should be fine, right? Guess we'll find out. That night I placed a dead mouse out for her to eat. And nope, she didn't want it. So I tried moving it around as if it were alive. 
Come on, girl. You can get it. You know you want this. But she did not want this. She gave me a dirty look, and then she left. Then this cricket came over to check on the mouse. Hey! So don't mind me, I'm just gonna climb up this cactus here. The next day I tried again, and she really seems to be into it this time. But Beetlejuice had to be in the shot and distracted her. Now I hate wasting good food, so I did what any hillbilly would do, and I fed it to my chickens. On day 20, a storm appeared called a haboob, and I simulated this using a leaf blower. The next morning, everyone went out on a search looking for missing people in the storm. The storm did a number on this enclosure, but where there's a disaster, there is happiness. And this cactus is blooming its first flower. But not all things are okay. Since the storm came, my scorpions have been missing. The last place I saw them was in here. I needed to be sure they were still alive. So I got a special tool from the camera room. This is a probe lens. I quickly swapped it out and put it on my camera. This will give me the ability to peek into tiny spots and see what the heck is going on in there. Would you look at this, guys? She had babies. And they were adorable. But wait. Hold on. This means that we did, in fact, have a male and female. And they were now one big happy family. But not everybody was this happy. Poor Kamala hasn't eaten in a month and is now starving. We tried so many times and nothing was working. But the answer was staring at me right in the face. It was you. You guys had the answers all along. Bring Pee Wee back. You spit him out. <laughs> Hello, Peewee. Welcome home, my old friend. If you like this story, make sure to subscribe and check out this other Scorpion video I made. You are going to love it.